Hey guys, if you make a common mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on repairs that you may actually not need. Make sure to stay until the end, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Warren Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Dodge Ram that generation here from year 2013 to year 2018. If you have one of those, if you need to find where the fuse for the driver door module is located, which fuse controls it, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure to stay until the end. So let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix anything like engines, transmission, codes, fuses, bodywork, all that stuff. Why we do all that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. On this channel guys, specifically, we will be making a video about every single fuse, every single relay on that Dodge Ram and let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your fuel pump fuse goes bad, all we have to do, find our video, watch it for a minute or two, replace that fuse, you're back on the road. So we do that guys to help you as much as we can. Also, we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So let's start on it now. The driver door module fuse where you can expect to find it we will guys demonstrate on that generation Dodge Ram right here. What we need to do, we need to open the hood. Once you guys pop the hood open, open your hood, on the driver's side you see that's your car battery. Right in front of it you have that cover here, it has two notches on the front, press them in. If you pull it, it will open and on the inside is the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. Guys, it's very important to always test your fuses and relays. Why? Sometimes you may think you have a good fuse, guys. It's hard to tell. Look at those fuses, right? And sometimes, okay, you pull the fuse. Okay, I'm going to get the fuse puller and I'm going to remove one fuse. I want to, I want to show you on that 20 amp fuse. Sometimes it's very unclear if that fuse is burned or not. You may not clearly see it. So always, guys, test them because if you don't test the fuse, you assume it's good, you end up spending money time and diagnostics for problems that do not exist guys so you can just waste your money and time always test your fuses always test relays we will put links in the description of the video below where you can find guys a video for testing a fuse and testing a relay that will explain everything that you need to do if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Ram, fuses, realize it's a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. We're going to put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. Here what we need to check for the driver door module guys, we need to check one fuse. By the way, we always recommend to keep some spare fuses, you have all kinds of different fuses that could be really hard to find if you're in the middle of nowhere. It happened to us, we needed a replacement fuse, couldn't get one and we were stuck because of that guys. Now for the driver door module, the fuse that you need to check is known as fuse number 24. We're talking about this fuse right here. That's the one that you need to check. Hopefully guys, the video will be helpful. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you for watching. See you next time.